Hello everyone, so my name is Ava Lansley and I am an English teacher at Carlingford High School. So my key resource that I wanted to focus on today is the code handout sheet. So what is the code handout sheet? So it's a handout resource that is given to students um, and it contains definitions, examples and visual symbols representative of major expression issues present in analytical writing. So this is the code handout sheet. So for example, um, we have the term parroting, where the definition is when a student restates the question as an answer. So like a bird just saying something back to you. So an example might be, how does this play explore ambition? Answer, this play explores ambition. We can see here that this is an expression issue because it doesn't contain any new information. It's empty, it's an empty statement. Um, if we go down to the bottom, we can also see with irrelevance. So a sentence is irrelevant if it doesn't contain, or oh sorry, if it does contain evidence and ideas which uh, don't relate to or connect to one another. So for an example, if we just look to the side, it says the play depicts Macbeth's hopelessness reinforced by the blood motif denoting his unchecked ambition. Now, although these ideas might be interesting in this particular sentence, they're not shown as being relevant to one another. The student hasn't effectively shown the connection between these three concepts. And as we can see with the code symbols, so for each of the outlined expression issues, there is a visual icon that is representative of that expression issue. So as we can see, parrot is a little bird, cramming is like a fist, like cramming too much information together, vagueness is a question mark, incoherence is a swirl, so when uh, phrases or clauses or sentences are just not making any sense. Uh, irrelevance is represented with a puzzle piece, meaning that this piece of information doesn't fit the metaphorical puzzle, the sentence, and confetti dropping, which is confetti, in which a student just throws around key information from the question all over the place without effectively engaging in them. So what's the purpose of this code handout sheet? So essentially it allows students to self mark or peer mark their own written works um, and allows them to identify their own major expression issues because they have the definition there and examples so they can identify if they themselves are parroting or cramming or have vague uh, sentences or confetti dropping and over time it allows them to evaluate patterns of expression issues in their own work or their peers work so they can count up if they have more you know, parrot icons versus uh, incoherence icons, or if over time with more refinement, um, they're getting less and less puzzle pieces on their work. So with that said, it allows students to effectively monitor uh, how they improve their expression over time. So this is a hypothetical, uh, hypothetical example. So the question being, how does Animal Farm offer new ideas about social issues? So in this particular answer, we can see that there's a parrot up the top where it says Animal Farm offers new ideas about social issues. Why is it a parrot? Because it's simply just restating the question as an answer. Why is there a confetti uh, symbol there? Because it's just restating keywords from the question in the sentence. It's not engaging with them properly. Um, so yeah, so that's my uh, key effective resource to allow students to effectively improve their writing by addressing major expression issues over time. Thank you.